Hello bladers, hello, it's Jake from Loco Vlog here. Today we're gonna to be talking about three wheel cruiser skates. Um, now we all know that three wheel skates are arguably better than four wheel skates for cruising. That's because you can put a bigger wheels on because it fits around the foot better in an engineering style. Uh, we're not gonna be talking about the wires today. That's another video, we've done that video already. Luke will make that appear in the YouTube page here somewhere. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about my top five three wheel cruiser skates. Please take this with a pinch of salt. It's just my opinion. Um, it's not gospel. Okay, number five is the K2 Trio Skate. I don't think it's the best looking skate ever. It's really basic, but man, these things are really, really fast. Uh, I've really enjoyed skating these. It's, it's something to do with the fact that it's got this UFS flat frame system. Um, just the way they rode was, was, was great. They just trundled along and I kept my speed super, super good on those. Number five, K2 Trio Skates. Number four, the power slide swirl skate. The power slides instigated this whole movement of three wheel skates right now, so um, they deserve big mentions here. This is their model, the swirl. Um, as you can see, well, I think it's really good looking. Um, it feels really nice on the foot. They've got all these designs with like the fly knit, uh, upper and stuff, and they just, they're just great. They're just compact and slim and they, they look great. Uh, I'd watch out for the Trinity mount version so I'd go for the Trinity mount version instead which is the one with these bolts two bolts here and one bolt in there the swell seems to skate a lot nicer I think in a in the Trinity mount version whereas this one here hasn't got those bolts it is a bit cheaper though so it depends on your budget number three the Seba three wheel skates so this is the Seba uh, FR310 and the FR325 and this is 110 millimeter, millimeter wheels and this is 125. It's your choice as to which one you like. I prefer to go for a slightly smaller wheel. I like to accelerate a lot when I'm when I'm skating on these cruiser skates and a small smaller wheel is better for that. What can you say about the classic Seba FR mold except for, I mean it's, it's just an all-time classic. It works, it does the job, it looks good, it's solid. Yeah, it's undeniable really, those those Seba skates. So number two, I've put the Rollerblade Twister Edge skate. It's Rollerblade's new version of their classic Twister. It's a new mold, it's a little bit different, but it's, it's quite heavy as a skate, which I really like. As you can see, it's really chunky, and the heaviness really like gives that, that solid feeling, especially on a, on a cruiser skate like this, when um, all that plastic kind of absorbs the shock. They feel really nice on the roll, they, they really trundle along without any kind of rickety sounds or anything like you get this really really deep uh deep rumbling sound when you when you skate on them and all the parts on that roller bay twister edge is super high quality uh, they fit a little bit thin some people find um for me my my foot maybe is a little wide for for that particular skate to be fully comfortable so it, it, if you are if you are a little wide in the foot then maybe Another good one to look at is Rollerblade's other version, which is the RB110. Uh, it's a slightly lower end version, but also loads of people really like that skate and it's a really good price at 220 pounds. And then in number one position, I've put the Power Slide Kaze or Kazi, I think people were saying, actually, the Power Slide Kazi skate. And yeah, it's, I, I think it's, again, I think it's a super good looking skate. It's slender around the foot. These are individual mold sizes. So each size is uh, accurate to your, your foot size. They don't use like a shared mold or anything. Um, and it's just solid, it's decent, it's power slide. And they've been doing this, this three wheel thing the longest. So they've developed their technology for longest out of all these brands. The reason I put the uh, Kazi here instead of the uh, Hardcore Evo or the Tayo, which are the higher end skates, is just because these two models have smaller wheels. They've, they've released them with a 90 millimeter wheel, a standard, and the Kazi comes with 110. Be a bit careful again with the Kazi because it's, it's a little uh, thin on the ankles. So if you've got bony ankles, again, watch out. So, uh, but as a, a, in terms of like spec and the way that rides, I think that's an incredible skate. Um, I would say that maybe the, no one's made quite the perfect three wheel skate yet. And if you really want to get the perfect skate for you, you, you can think about customizing. You can, this is a rollerblade frame, but you can get ground control ones. Um, a few different brands make them, including Power Slide as well. And you can put this on your own dream setup and make something amazing. Uh, it will cost you a little bit more when you do it like that, though. 
I'd also like to say uh, an extra shout out for uh, a skate which isn't released yet, which is the Power Slide's next skate. And the next skate's going to be really good. It's coming out in the next few months. Uh, we don't get to feature it now, but watch out for that one as well. Okay, that's been top five skates from Loco Vlog. I've been Jake. See ya.